Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I got this cool comment on my video, TTGO TWatch 2020, using Dabble and PictoBlocks. Javier wants to know how to send the TTGO TWatch accelerometer somewhere else so that they can see it. So I'm going to use the LilyGo TTGO TWatch library, and I'm going to use this serial Bluetooth terminal on my phone, so I'll be able to do something cool like this. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. You can see the X, Y, and Z variables on the watch are being transmitted to the Bluetooth serial app on the phone. So now I'm going to download the TTGO TWatch library as a zip. Download zip. There we go, it's finished. So we're going to go into the Arduino IDE, sketch, include library, add zip library. Go into Downloads, find our TTGO TWatch Library Master, and open that. You can tell the Arduino IDE is doing something because the menu items are grayed out. I can't click on anything. Okay, so you can see the library's been added. Now we're going to prepare the board manager to make sure we can pick the TTGO TWatch. First, you're going to want to go into Preferences under File. Make sure you have the Espresso ESP32 URL in Additional Board Managers. I'll have everything in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. We've got that in there. OK. So now we can go into Board Manager. Tools. Board Manager. I want to see if there's an update for that. ESP32. Yes, we have the latest version of the ESP32 from Espressif installed here. Now we can make sure we've picked the TTGO TWatch from ESP32 Arduino. And you find it on this list here. Yeah, there it is, TTGO TWatch. Yeah, you saw me, I already had it selected, of course, but. All right. Now here's the scoop. We're going to use two example sketches. First was the one from the TTGO TWatch library. So we've got to scroll all the way down here. TTGO TWatch library. This is under examples and then basic unit. And we want the BMA423 accelerometer sketch. You drag that over onto this screen here. So that's half the battle. And the other example sketch we're going to want is way up here. I think it actually installs by default with Arduino, but it's compatible for TTGO TWatch. And this is under Bluetooth Serial. We're going to use Serial to Serial Bluetooth. Okay, that opens up over here. Let's drag that over here. So now we're ready to do the mashup here of these two sketches. You know that's what I like to do on this channel, is take two example sketches and mash them together and make something new happen. And I think this is going to work for Javier's request here. First of all, we want to make sure we grab our include statement. Okay. We'll want to initialize Bluetooth here. And I'm just going to push this up underneath, initializing the TTGO TWatch. Okay. Next, here in Void Setup, we've got a couple of lines of code that we want to include under Void Setup. Pick that up. Drop that right here. Get things lined up. Get all that white space in there just right. Okay. So the last thing in this example sketch serial to serial Bluetooth is just basically sending whatever is present on the local serial to Bluetooth and reading Bluetooth and sending it to the local serial. So we just need this serial Bluetooth write thing here. And we need that down here in void loop. You see the rest of this sketch is all about setting up that BMA423 accelerometer and getting readings from it, setting up the TTGO TWatch. And then here we are in void loop. 
and it's the T TTGO T watch is going to display the X, Y, and Z values on the screen of the watch. And then we're just going to come down here and add this little bit here. Now, serial write, so in this case, serial Bluetooth write is really looking to send one character at a time. So we're going to change this to serial print. Uh, and I'm going to serial print line, so and I'm just going to grab that and copy it again and again. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Let's get the white space back. Okay, and so we have acceleration X variable here. Acceleration Y is here. And acceleration Z is here. Now, this would print that X, Y, and Z on a single line and have a cursor return. So you just have numbers scrolling down that Bluetooth terminal. And I think that that would become very illegible. But this, at its very most basic, would, would work. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what the finished product looks like. And again, you can look for the links down below in the description. I'll have this saved up on, on GitHub. So let's take a look. Yeah, so here was the final mashup that I did. And again, we'll just talk through it. We got the include. We started up Bluetooth. We got the Bluetooth setup and void setup. Then down here in void loop, I did the formatting a little bit better. I've identified, I've, so I'm sending X colon with a space and sending the variable X. And there's not print line, so it's not going to do a cursor return. Then there's three spaces in the Y space, and it's going to send the value Y. And again, three spaces in Z, and it's going to spend the value Z. So we're going to go ahead and upload this, and we'll check it out. Okay, so we uploaded the program, and I'm firing up the watch. There we go, and let's go ahead and open that Bluetooth terminal app on my phone here you got to go under devices and you got to connect to the esp32 device there the data comes flowing in how about we shake things up a little bit what do you think There we go. Shake it up. And you can see the values are changing in the Bluetooth terminal there. What's cool about this Bluetooth terminal app is you can also export the data to text. And so it actually comes out looking like this. All right, that was fun. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You never know, I might answer your question and give this video a like. And of course, before you go watch more of my TT Go T Watch 2020 playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.